In this video, I'm going to show you how to use Goal Seek and Solver in Excel. Let's start with Goal Seek. It's fairly simple. Let's say you want to get a 93% in the class. 93%, good solid A. And currently, you have grades for everything except the final exam. I've thrown 100 in here for now, but that's just our optimistic guess. Each of these projects and homeworks and exams are worth a certain amount. Um, that's their weight towards the final grade. The final grade is calculated by summing up those weighted amounts. So the question is, how well do we really have to do on the final exam in order to get a 93%? You could do this, you could figure this out by just sticking some numbers in there. Let's say 100%, it, it works, we know that. But could I get a 95%? Would that work? Oh, yep, still looks good. How about 94 Yep, still good. Oop, no, wrong cell there. 94. Yep, still good. 93. Mm, well, if the professor rounds up, I could get a 93. There's an easier way than just trying to guess trial and error, and this is a very simple example. There are much more complicated examples where guessing would take forever. So, what you could do is say, I want to change this final grade to be exactly 93%. I want to set it to be 93% by changing this cell right here. So let's do that. You go to data, what if, goal seek, and you say set cell D18 to value 0.93 by changing which cell? Well, by changing this one right here and hit OK. And it says I came up with a solution, and the solution is this 93.93 is what I have to get in order to get a 93%, 93.08 to be exact. So that's that. It found the solution for me. Very easy. On to solver. Solver is for much more complicated problems. Let's say I'm a candy bar maker and I have four different kinds of candy bars I make and each one requires a certain number of ingredients. For example, Milky Way requires one unit of chocolate, one unit of, one unit of nougat, or nougat, and one unit of caramel, or caramel, depending on who you are. And it costs a certain amount to make each candy bar. We know how much we're selling each candy bar for. There's the price per bar. And so we know how much we're going to make our profit per bar. Um, now, what we need to know is how can we maximize total profit and yet meet demand, but not exceed it, and not use more inventory than we have available. This is an exceptionally complicated problem to do by hand using guesswork and just typing in numbers. So what we'll do is we'll use what's called solver. Go to data, solver, and it says set objective. Our objective is this one, total profit. We want to maximize it. There's also minimize or set it to a specific value. We want to maximize that cell by changing which cells well, the amount we make, because that's really the only thing we have control over. And do we want any constraints? Yes, we have some constraints. For example, we can't use more than we have. So I say that this group has got to be less than or equal to this group, this range, less than that range. Hit add. Any other constraints? Yes, the total we make, those have to be whole numbers or integers. Add. Hmm. Any other constraints? Yes, we have to have uh, we have to make less than or equal to our demand. We don't want to make more than we have demand for, or else candy bars will probably go bad. Let's hit OK and hope that works. I'm going to click Solve, and the solution it gives me is. I should make a thousand Milky Ways, 500 Nut Rolls, and 1,003 Musketeers, but not make any Snickers, because Snickers I don't make much money on. And I will maximize my profit at 1,250 bucks. Did we stay less than what we have available? Yes, exactly the same, yes and yes. So we met all of our constraints and maximized our profit. So this tells us how to proceed, how to make the most money with what we've got. And that's what you use Solver for. Hope that was helpful.